Well, things uh, haven't been going too well in the series recently, I suppose. We've had relegation from La Liga. We've had a bit of a poor run of matches on the channel. Lost to Celta Vigo. National team losing in World Cup qualifying. Really need to hit a home run in this episode. So who are we playing again? Let me just check. England. Hello there everybody, welcome back to the channel. Dodgy Gamer here with episode 58, isn't it? Of Andorra, Andorra, the Double Challenge, in which I take charge of the club FC Andorra and the country of Andorra and try to lead them both along the road to glory. So the conclusion of our World Cup qualifying campaign, you can see we're still hanging on to fourth place. Bit of a gap's opened up between us and Greece since the last time we saw you. Um, you see we haven't actually added to our points total at all in that time. I'll take you through the results and show you why we possibly will not still be in fourth by the end of today. So last time out, defeat to Greece and then off camera a win over San Marino. We then played Bulgaria at home. I had hopes for this match because of course we'd beaten them in Sofia at the start of the qualifying campaign, but no, not this day. They came to Andorra a much better team, a much more organised team, looking for revenge, and boy, they got it. 4-1 defeat. Very disappointing. We then played Ukraine again. It was a home game. Again, it was a pretty poor defeat. 6-1, after we only lost 4-1 in Kiev. 6-1, we just didn't show up. Terrible result. And then away to Greece, bit of a better performance. I mean, again, we didn't really stand any chance of winning, especially as Antonio Gonzalez decided to get himself sent off. But yeah, we were 2-0 down, and we struggled to keep the score low. So yeah, we're unlikely to hold on to our spot, because we're only two points ahead of Bulgaria, who play San Marino today. So we're playing England. I just hope we're not going to suffer the same fate as the Faroe Islands here. Of course, England already qualified, so maybe nothing to play for. Maybe a weak team coming. Maybe they're going to be a bit complacent. Maybe we get to pull off a shock. Maybe. But here's something that's going to cause us a big problem. So we had Gonzalez sent off in that game against Greece, Zarzana, Cano, and Ruben Perez also picked up yellows, which means all of them are now suspended. So we're going to have to play around with a bit of a different formation. No right backs, but at least the centre back can kind of play there. Um, no Zarzana, top scorer. Perez is, you just give the ball to Perez and hope we can do something with it, I guess. So looking at the England team, we've got some familiar faces. We've got some new gens as well. So it's still got Pickford in goal. Stones and Gomez in the centre of defence. We've got new gen fullbacks. George Armstrong, let's have a look at him. Where is he playing his football? West Ham? All right, he's a West Ham player, having come through at Blackburn. And Harwood is a Man City boy, a golden boy. Interestingly, came through at Rons in France before transferring to Man City for £67 million. Pounds. It's worth more than my FC Andorra team put together. And we've got Sancho and Sterling out wide, Fodden, Deli Ali and Harry Kane up against Jovera and Sabino. This is going to be painful. But this is the best one. England have a regen called Kieran Blizzard. How about that for a name? At Napoli of all places. Only previously played one game for England, transferred to Napoli from Liverpool. Only had a handful of games in his career. Weak spot. Right, well it's gonna be um yeah, it's gonna be the pressures off. We're huge underdogs. No pressure on you. Just don't embarrass yourselves or me. Well according to the pre match interview, England are the top scorers in European World Cup qualifying. They've also got the best defence, so I'm not sure what we're going to do there. But also a landmark for Andorra today. Perez, Jose Francisco Perez, picks up his 50th cap, so it's a big milestone for him. Oh, and Perez nearly celebrated that with an early goal, getting on the end of that cross. That's probably the best we're going to see all day, so we'll cherish the moment. Cherish it. Right, we've got the ball here. Hernandez, Sabino, playing some nice football we are. Here today, Lagares picked it up. I think we've surprised England with our formation here, but we're just yeah we're just not going anywhere. Oh, but we got through a bit of penetration there. But Blizzard, Blizzard in the rain doesn't quite work, does it? 
Sancho now just cuts through our defence like they're not there, to be fair. They're not really. And then we give away a corner for absolutely no reason. Okay, Fodden's going to whip this one in. We clear it, though. We live to fight another highlight. Okay, another corner for England. And I think this one's going to be a goal. It looks like it's going to be a goal. And indeed, it is the blizzard just blinded us with his snowflakey presence. Well, if the first goal was a blizzard, I hope it's not the start of an avalanche. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you okay, here they come now. England again. Sancho again. Literally, literally skipping past his marker. Anyway, <laughs> we got the ball off him, but only by making him pass it to somebody else. Sterling, 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 ghosting through the defence, but got a bit greedy. Raheem Sterling, that, that, that'll be all over the tabloids tomorrow. Raheem, you know that. Uh, anyway, uh, now he ooh, nearly sets up a goal. We're hanging on here. We're hanging on at 1-0. We're hoping for San Marino to do us a favour in the other game so we can stay ahead of Bulgaria. Okay, chance before half time here. Can we do something? Ooh, we clipped the top of the bar. Nearly went in one apiece. Wow. Well, hmm. Bulgaria are 8 0 up against San Marino. I don't see San Marino getting back into that one. So it's going to be relying on us equalising against England here. I've told them, I just went with I'm pleased. You're doing all right, boys. Now, the problem we've got here is a couple of players like Hernandez and Perez, obviously grinding week in week out for FC Andorra they're getting a bit tired but they're just gonna have to play through it because I've got no one to replace them anyway unfortunately an early goal for England it's Harry Kane scores to put them 2-0 up it's just a simple long ball over the top and then he just beats the defenders to it and there was only one thing that was going to happen there Right, Fodden now whips it in. Is this the start of the deluge of the avalanche? Well, it's a penalty, so it looks like it. I think Kane's going to take this one and probably going to score this one, unless Alvarez can pull something out of the bag. Nope, there we go. Okay, here they come. Stones building it up from the back. Quick ball up to Abraham, who's come on as a substitute. He misses, so that's good. Um... <laughs> Oh, we're past the hour mark now. Only about 20 minutes of torture and pain remain. Uh, Perez with another injury on international duty. I'm going to have to have a word. As FC Andorra manager, I'm going to have to have a word with myself to say stop playing Perez and getting him injured. So we're going to bring on a youngster, Dakari, who's just got one cap to his name, but can play on the left. So that's the only reason he's coming in. And we're going to bring on Muyamba as well. Lega is knackered. Hernandez is knackered. But I've got no one else I can bring on for them. Corner for England. Are they going to make it 4-0? No. No, they miss. Ten minutes to go then. I think, you know, I was worried when they scored on 17 minutes that that was going to be the beginning of, you know, a complete thrashing. And then again, when Kane scored early in the second half, same thought crossed my mind. But I think we've done a fairly decent job of containing them. We've got all the way into stoppage time now. We're only 3-0 down. And here comes Lego with a chance. Ooh, that was a bloody good chance. Nice low shot. Pickford saved. We get the corner as well. So there's still a chance to claw one back. We've got the throw in now if we're going to be allowed to take it. I don't think anybody's in a huge rush. But here comes Hernandez. Hernandez, terrible throw in. We just get dispossessed straight away. And that's full time. Well, you know, in these situations, I think up against one of the top teams that England won all 10 of their matches. So only three now. It's not that bad, is it? Is it? Right, so with Bulgaria winning 10-0 in the end against San Marino, Jose Francisco Perez out for a week. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, no surprises. So, yeah, at least we were competitive. That's what they wanted us to be, the old um, Andorran FA. So, yeah, if we have a look, there we go, Greek. Group two, so unfortunately we end up fifth. I was hoping for fourth, so you know we could get a better seeding next time out, but um on this case it wasn't to be. 
San Marino. Look at that. They finished with a goal difference of minus 106 over 10 matches. I wonder if Faroe Islands can do even worse. Well, in the end, Faroe Islands only lost, only lost 7-0 to Latvia. So San Marino, you get that minus 100 and more goal difference all to yourself. So what's next for us? Well, at the moment, not much. Uh, we do have the Nations League to come, but that's not going to be scheduled until next spring and obviously starting in uh, September 2026. So that's it for this season as far as competitive games go. In the end, well, neither here nor their World Cup qualifying campaign. We started with two wins. We thought we could be on for something special, but in the end, it wasn't to be. But I think it will come. I mean, you know, a fairly low-scoring defeat against England, ultimately, with half of our team missing. We've got Gomez developing. We've got Perez already there. We've got a couple of other promising looking youngsters in the Andorran team. Who knows what the youth intake is going to be like between now and our next set of competitive games. So there's still hope. So we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching this episode with me today. Um, do hope you've enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And love you gamer. And I'll see you back in action with FC Andorra soon.